Welcome everybody, my name is Fausto. I want to start off and talk about what is going on with today with Reddit, everything that's happening in the stock market. You guys are probably freaking out. Well, I want to start a whole new trend. It is now officially called the Millennial Lockout. Go out there, tweet it, share it, friend it, Instagram it, TikTok it, but this technically is the official Millennial Lockout. Why do I call it the Millennial Lockout? Well, guess what? Listen, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm 47 years old. But when I started, I was like you. I was 22 years old. Okay? And I know why you're here right now. I know why you're watching this video. Because you guys want to figure out what the hell just happened. Guess what? I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been through three of these already. Okay? Um, you ever heard of $25,000 day trading rule? Because what I'm about to tell you in the next few moments, when you're seeing what's happening right now between your eyes, guess what? The government's going to start stepping in and they're going to pass regulation. How do I know that? Because back in 2000, when I started, actually, I started in 1995, this was just the same thing that just happened. The same exact thing. Okay? Um... Day trading offices opening up everywhere, uh, uh, boiler rooms opening up everywhere, you know, all over the place. It was the greatest thing. It was the hottest, most sexiest, best thing that happened because people were sick and tired of saying, you know what, there's a better way than going out there and working for somebody to make, you know, $15 an hour, you know, then, back then, what, what, what's a minimum wage now? Uh, or working at uh, hammering nails, or working construction. Listen, this is the beginning, okay? Be prepared. Regulation is going to come. How do I know that? Because I've been there. I've done that. This is just the start. I'm going to talk about a couple of them. I'm going to go over a couple of things. I want to tell you exactly what to expect. I know you guys are going crazy. What do I do? Robinhood just shut down. They knew they were going to close down. Who do I open an account with? What sh how should I open an account with? What What is happening? Why did the Why did uh, 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 all these stocks like you know uh, GameStop and and every single one? What do we got? We got AMC, uh, Naked, Bobby J. What else we got? Uh, EXPR, NOK, I mean, KOSS for crying out loud. Do we, I do this every day. Every day. What are you guys worried about? You really think you just thought you just found, you know, a pot of gold? We're doing this every day for 25 years. And guess what? Don't get upset. Just join them. Just join them. Don't get ticked off. Just join them. Listen. I live here in Long Island. This is the financial capital of the world. I live across the street from some big of the traders in the industry. I live in an area where, uh, where all the top traders of the industry work in. They don't like me. They don't like me because I am on your side. I left the trading industry because I thought it was disgusting what was happening, what they were doing. Actually, I didn't like the idea that whatever they taught me, I had to split the profits. That's where it came down to it. Well, guess what? I said, but they said, hey, Fausto, if you don't if you don't like what we do, God bless you, because all this great, all these traders, all these algorithms, all these instant machines, all these uh, uh, direct access that we're giving you, it's going to be gone. I found a way, and I said, you know what? I don't need you. But I did find out one thing that I learned. I learned that the only way that you guys can be successful is you gotta stick together. You have to stick together. You gotta build a, a, an alliance, a team. That's what I learned of being in the trading industry. And I've been doing this ever since. I run the first trading industry in the complete, uh, the first school in the industry and the first day trading room in the whole industry. Now you see them pop all left and right, but they don't know why. They don't know why they, they started it. I'm telling you right now, and this is where it starts. It's, and, and because you guys were affected by the millennial lockout, now you have to realize how to, how to benefit from it because get prepared. Regulation's coming. You can't beat Wall Street. You can't beat Wall Street. All, you're gonna do, all they're going to do is they're going to, you know, they're going to beat you. You know what? They are in the hands of the politicians. You know, you, they're in the hands of the politicians and they're going to go out there and 
Yo, they're going to pass regulation, whatever it is. They did it to me back in 2000 when they passed the $25,000 day trading rule. You know what I'm talking about. Okay? A lot of you can't open an account because you got $25,000 in your account. The day trading rule, it was discriminatory. You want to talk about discriminating? That was discriminating. Discriminating is just not discriminating about blacks or whites. It was also discriminating on day traders. You know who you know, passed that rules? The mutual funds, the hedge funds. They don't like the idea that we had technology to be and become one of them. Guess what? Welcome to Wall Street. You know what I've learned? Don't worry about it. You, you, don't, you can't beat them, join them. But I can tell you this. If it wasn't for the $25,000 day trading rule, people would have never went to Forex. People would have never joined options. They would have never joined futures. And you want you think trading the stocks is risky? Try one of those. It's a lot more riskier. Trading stocks is just black and white. But when you start you know, telling people they can't do something, they will find a way, just like COVID, right? What's happening with COVID? Everybody's like, you know what? Maybe we can, you know, control people, do something, whatever it is. Guess what now? People finding a way and say, you know what? I kind of like living at home. You know what? I don't like living in New York City. You know, I'm paying thousands of dollars of rent. You know what? I like, you know what? This is pretty nice. And then they wonder why you know, people, they think they're going to come back to New York City. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Okay. But I am here, not here to vent. I am here to educate you guys. Because I feel like today is an opportunity that I wanted to go out and say, you know what, for doing this for 25 years, I've never done a video like this and says, you know what, I've been through the internet bubble, I've been through the financial crash, I've been through the 9-11, uh, the I've been through the Hurricane Sandy, I've been through uh, the, the coronavirus, and now I'm going to call it the millennial lockout. Because that's basically what it is. They locked out all you guys between, you know, in the millennials. Because I know, it's, and, I'm not, and I'm not saying all of you. I'm not, I know there are some older crowds and young crowds. But at the end of the day, you guys found a way. You got stuck with COVID. You know, you got to do something. You want to trade. You see the opportunity that you could have made, you know, with, uh, with GameStop or with AMC or whatever it is. You guys basically beat the big boys. It's called David and Goliath. I did a video this morning. I trade every morning. I'm live on YouTube every morning at 9 a.m. And I says, you know what? They beat them. We thought it was a book, a, a movie. No, it actually did work. But I want to tell you your problem is. Your problem is everyone's flipping out and starting to figure out, where do I open up an account? What do I do now? I, this is like, this was awesome. Yeah, you know what? You just got to taste. Guess what? You know what your problem is? You don't have the right tools. You know what? You shouldn't be doing this on Robinhood. Robinhood is a, is a, is a garbage platform. That guy was a great marketer. It was a great company. They knew, you know, I give them, I, listen, you got to give credit where credit is due. But I deal with some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. I have several brokerage accounts from all of them. I don't trade all of them. I need to learn what they do. But when I when I join the industry, you know, and I learned how to trade, I've learned, and not only that, I helped develop a lot of these so-called ECNs, direct access brokerage firms. You know, everything that you think you need to be a tools. I am just so happy and I am so thankful that you guys finally woke up that you don't need the $15 an hour. You don't need a $1,400 stimulus check. You could just trade the market. And for some of you out there dealing with mutual funds and hedge funds, you're going to realize, you know, I don't need them anymore. I can do it myself. Holy, you just got to taste. You tasted what I tasted 25 years ago. Okay? And I'm doing pretty damn good. You know, and still in the industry. And people always ask me to like, I, I'll never forget, I did, a, I, I met uh, Kramer one day. And I, in a... Uh, I, I was doing a presentation, of speaking, and you know, and by and he, I walked up to him. I said, "Hey, Kramer, you know, uh, I, you know, a little bit of a fan of yours. I watch your stuff. You know, I'm a day trader." You know what he said to me, and I don't know if it was insulting or it was a compliment. 
he said, you're still in the game? Wow, that's great. I'm like, still in the game. I'm like, why would I not be in the game? You know what I mean? So, um, so anyway, a lot of these people don't like what you're doing because you're taking away from what they're doing. But I want to explain to you a little bit about what what is, um, uh, you know, basically what Robin Hood was basically doing. Can I ask you a dumb question? How do you make money with free tickets? What, like, you ever thought about it for a second? It sounds great. When I used to start trading, when I first started, back when I was 22 years old, imagine paying $20 a ticket. Imagine trading with fractions. You're already down $125. You had to guarantee 1,000 shares. Remember, I'm one of the original Souls Bandits back in the old days, okay? And, and today, people, people are like worrying about, now they're giving free tickets. It's called, it's called algorithms and payment for order flow, okay? Why can't you trade in pre-market? Why can't you trade in aftermarket? Do you actually see what's going on in the market? No, you probably don't. Well, I want to show you a couple of big tools. I want to show you some of the things. I want to change your life for the better today. Today, I want to show you that I'm going to wake up, wake you up and show you why you are no longer going to be part, even though you've been part of the millennial lockout, you could say, oh, I remember I was in the millennial lockout. But I'm going to show you some of the tools that are going to help you become better today because it should piss you off that whatever happened that, you know what, says, you know what, I'm going to beat these guys next time. And you know what, you will. Because there are a couple of tools out there that are called level three and level four. Been preaching it since the day I started. I actually helped develop a lot of them. And what you're about to see is going to be so disturbing. And what, I, what they are is this. Imagine that you could actually see. I don't know, 70% of the volume out there, right? Could you imagine you could see where all the institutions are, where the market makers are? What are they doing? What are they doing in pre-market? Do you know that they know what you buy and then they use their algorithms so they could actually trade against you? Why would, else, why would they give you free tickets? They want the order flow. That's what it is. Listen, I know you guys are shopping around, looking at the internet. Oh, what's going on? You're watching all the financial stations. Everybody's bashing, you know, this guy. They're going to blame that. Blame. Listen, don't get pissed off. Don't worry about it, okay? Just know how to play the game. So I want to talk about a couple of things. All right, let me bring up, uh, I want to bring up a platform right here, okay? We're looking at GameStop right here, okay? You can see GameStop um, right here. The stock literally ran from like $17 which was literally like, I don't know, <laughs> like, like a couple of days ago. And then the stock actually went up. It went from 20 to, tw uh, to 38. Now, listen, I I'm not lying. You can go back to my YouTube channel. You can look at, we were trading this stock about two weeks already, okay? Um, you could look at our Twitter feed, everything else. But what happened right here, the stock literally ran from that price and then shot up and then also, you know, uh, you know with the whole Reddit thing and all that stuff. Listen, I deal with this every day. Okay, don't worry about it. There's going to be other game stops every day. I'm going to show you a couple of more out there. But the question is, is that why did it go up? It went up because of supply and demand, not this so-called indicator, not so this called, oh, you know, no, it was, it was the MACD, it was the Fibonacci. No, it was buyers and sellers. And who the buyers were? You. Okay, so how do you play this game? How do you know where the buyers and sellers are? So right here, I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to bring this over here. This is called um, level four, okay? Now, right now, we're looking in after hours. Now, this is basically telling me where all the buyers and sellers are. And I want to show you some stocks that we traded today. So hopefully, this helps, brings up a little explanation, okay? So uh, where are we here? I had it here for a minute, and there we go. So, right here, let me show you where that where that went. Uh, level four. Hold on, sorry about that, guys. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So what we're looking at is a screenshot of 
a platform that we use is called Level 4. And you could basically see where the buyers and sellers are. So you could see here, we're looking um, basically at, I believe this is, uh, this is American Airlines, right, okay. So American Airlines, you saw, was on Reddit. They talked about it. It was on every financial station. And then the stock obviously did a great move in pre-market, and then the stock literally tanked. Well, you can see right here how the stock literally didn't have that many, you know, this is like basically what we call a heat map. And you can see right here how the stock literally came down from a price of $13.50 all the way down to $11.30. And you'll notice right here at this bar right here, there was literally a 547,000 share buyer. When the stock finally broke this buyer right here and it tried to go back, it never wanted to go higher. Who do you think those 547,000 shares are? Okay, exactly. And would you want to beat those guys? Would you want to compete against those guys? Would you, think about it. If you could buy the stock at 11 and sell it at 12, buy it at 11, sell it at 12, Make a dollar in, dollar short. Dollar in, dollar short. Dollar times a thousand shares, a thousand dollars, a quarter million dollars a year. Congratulations, you've just been introduced to the day trading industry. Okay? You don't have to kill it. Listen, what happened today and what happened the last couple of days, what you've seen is, you know, this is nothing different that we do all the time. But they're there all the time. I'll bring you another one. Uh, where are we right here? Let me begin another one right here. Here, here's, a, here's another example. Uh, which one's the best one? Okay, how about this one right here? Let me bring you this one. All right, so if you look at this stock right here, this is basically American Airlines at around 7 o'clock this morning. Now, I start trading right around, around 7 o'clock. Um, I joke around about this, but I have a cat. Her name is Chloe. She was harassing the hell out of me at 5 o'clock this morning. She wanted to eat. I kept pushing her off. I says, all right, all right. And also, I'm checking my phone after, after knowing all the stuff that's going on. I look down, and what do you think I noticed? I, I, I look at the financial uh, websites, and I'm like, oh, uh, the next new GameStop, you know, click here. You know, right on, you know, right on was a Fox Business uh, uh, feed. And all of a sudden, what it was, American Airlines. So sure enough, right at 7.30, look right here. Right here down at the bottom. 7.30 right there, 7 o'clock. Stock goes from $16. By the way, this stock is not a, a $30 stock. Goes from $16 all the way up. Stops at $18. You see all these sellers out there. You see that red line right there? Those were huge sellers. Those are like 100, 200, 300,000 shares. If you notice, the ball got a little green. That means that those sellers started getting executed. And this is all pre-market. That stock ran from $18 in a matter of, you know, literally 45 minutes, shot all the way up to about 30 bucks. Now, you know this because they were talking about it. And then all of a sudden, you see this little red bar right there? The heat map, which is basically what it's doing, this is algorithms of all the ECNs, NASDAQ, Archipelago, New York Stock Exchange, um, uh, BATS, all of them. You could see that there were big block orders. Look at 383,000 shares. The guy's been out there since 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock, an hour. So guess what? What makes resistance? Sellers. Did the stock break it? No, it didn't. The stock came back down. And boom, sellers kept coming out, seller kept coming out, seller kept coming out, seller kept coming out. Now this is 9 o'clock. Let me just see. Where is American Airlines right now? Let's just scroll right here. Let me bring up over here. Guess what? It came all the way down to $18, okay? Right here, you can see here on the intraday chart, look how beautiful that chart is. But what does that tell you, okay? It doesn't tell me crap. This tells me where the orders are. You see, this is how Wall Street trades. These are how the algorithms work. This is how the high-frequency trades work, okay? Remember you heard about the flash crash? Guess what? You're seeing it right now. You, you've just been introduced to it, okay? So don't get pissed. Don't get upset. Come and join and let join my following. Come follow my room. Do Watch my videos. Come watch them one of my events, and I'll show you how to play the game. And you can think for yourself because you don't need them anymore. You can do it yourself. But I'm just telling you right now, just be prepared. There's going to be a lot of regulating that are going to come on. Believe me, 
Wolf Street's got some pretty powerful, you know, uh, hands. Why you every time you hear about even when when we had the presidency? Oh, we gotta go. You gotta go after Wall Street. We gotta go after Wall Street. Gotta, listen, that's where the money is. I live here in Long Island. They got two hundred million dollar homes outside. You know, out in the Hamptons. You know, people are starving right now. What's going on with COVID? Meanwhile, these guys are making more money than they ever made before. Okay, catastrophes make opportunities. You think they're stupid? What do you think happened to financial crisis? Okay, you know, I was I was there. I, I was for the whole thing. Unfortunately, I, I made a lot of money during the financial crisis. You want to watch a really good movie? You really want to know about the financial crisis? Watch The Biggest Short. Watch that movie and 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 watch it two or three times. The book obviously is better, but you don't think there's going to be a book that's going to come out regarding about the millennial crisis? Go out there, and 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 you know what? Don't get pissed off. Just try to get you know just. Learn from it, mind your business, stay, keep low, and just do it. I've been doing it for 25 years. I love what I do. It's the greatest job in the world. I know why these guys make so much money. And you know what? Hopefully, you got a little taste of it. So I don't want to keep going and over and over again, but this is what I'm going to tell you. You want to learn more, like us, friend us, share us, and share that name, The Millennial Crisis, because you know what? You should be kind of honored that you were part of it. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. It's pretty cool that you could say, "Hey, I was. I remember the millennial crisis. I was there. The the, the millennial uh, lockout and the millennial crisis. Uh, it, it's just a great way of looking at things." So, the bottom line is this. Hopefully, I'll get to see you in the morning. I'm live here every morning at 9 a.m. live on YouTube. I'll go through the watch list. I'll show you what's moving in the market, and I'll see you there. All right, guys, be safe. Don't get ticked off. We'll figure it out. Thanks, everybody, and thanks for watching.